That's why you shouldn't drive when you hear some horrible banging sounds in the Eco Land Rover. We've uh, got bits of metal everywhere here. But we'll get it back on the road again. Hi guys and dolls, it's been a bit of a while since uh, I've worked on the Land Rovers. Every weekend it seems to have rained and uh, or snowed. And as I'm doing this in the middle of a field and not in the barn, uh, I need a nice dry sunny day. And I think that's what we've got today. So yeah, what am I doing? It's, um, I broke the diff, uh, as you know, and obviously when I was towing in the snow, something else went wrong, it meant I lost drive to the front wheels. So uh, probably a half shaft, but we're going to rip out the front of the axles and uh, see uh, what damage we've done and uh, swap that diff round while we're working on that axle and change the oil as well. So uh, yeah, I suppose we better crack on before it starts raining again. So job number one is going to be jacking the car up properly. So we'll chop the back wheels, uh, we'll put some slabs down or something, get some axle stands underneath it and uh, hope she's not going to move anywhere. So uh, I mean she does fall, the ground's quite soft, I, should, uh, I don't think I'll sustain too much damage. but. Uh, Let's see. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I've uh, pulled the stub axles out, just removed all the bolts on the, well, the nuts on the diff. So I went to slide the diff back, and already I've got a sign of suspicion what's gone wrong. You can see, but we have loads of water dripping out rather than oil. You can see that in there. So even though I, um, I thought I sealed my axles quite well. I managed to get water in. Probably for the axle breather. So I'm guessing water got in there. And then I did my long journey to West Midlands, which is about, I don't know, 70 miles there and then another 70 back. Just enough to knacker up all the lubrication and diff and probably kill that, that bearing at the end there. I mean, you can see the movement. Uh, get, move the prop out of the way. Oh, I could do it one hand. But yeah, I'll show you when it's all out of the vehicle compared to the other diff, but yeah, it looks a bit a bit knackered. But hopefully my half shafts are okay in the front. We'll have a little look. I'm hoping it's a total failure of the diff, and then I can just whack another one in, put the half shafts back in, or get the water out, put the oil in as well, and then off we go. There's a cat. Okay, so the diff is out now. Um, the house shafts look fine. So what it was, was, the bearings obviously, as I already knew, were, were going. Hence the, the noise and the, the play in the uh, prop shaft. Uh, and then that time we used it, cause we had to tow someone uh, top of the track in the snow. Even though I didn't want to use it, cause I knew the lander was already poorly. What I just did then was disintegrate my bearings even more. So the play was so much that it then lost its drive uh, through the diff. So I'll show you the working diff and the uh, the knackered diff and the bearings. Right, so here is the, the working diff. You can see, no play, well, not much play there. Nice shiny bearings inside there. Where are the bearings on this one? Lots of play, lots of knocking, and if you turn it, it starts to lose drive. I mean, like, if I hold this, there we go. Losing drive. Right, so this is the working diff. As you can see, if I hold that and I wobble this, it moves. No, not too much banging, not too much play. Uh, the bearers are doing their job. All good. And then if I hold this one, that we could, I can literally turn that around because so because the bearers are completely disintegrated, meaning I've lost my drive to my front axle. So uh, yeah, so that. I'll give it a bit of glass of water. It wasn't that wet coming out the uh, out of the casing. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll cover that in a load of uh, storage oil, stop it rusting, um, and then we'll get that fixed at some point. So I'll refit this diff now. I mean, I'll uh, just give the axle case a bit of clean out, get all the gunk out of it, and uh, re-grease it all and re -oil, put the, the correct oil in. Um, I'll also check my rear diff now because if that's what's happened to my front diff because of water ingress, the, the rear's gone from the same treatment as the front, so it's worth it's worth checking out. I also killed a few track ride ends. I want to service the Land Rover, so I'll get on the phone to our mates at Bear Mac, get, um, get them to send me some parts, because uh, that would be good to give the Land Rover a service, and also get some track ride ends that I killed removing bits on the axle. Exciting stuff. So I'm just going to refit this diff now, and then hopefully we'll be back on the road soon. So just a little update on, uh, on what we broke 
on the Land Rover and why it lost drive. So hopefully we'll be on the road in no time. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we're Tatty Car Travels. Give us a like if you like the video and uh, subscribe for more Land Rover related content to come. See you guys. Oh, baby, we'll be old and think about the stories that we could have told.